Gosella wants to throw it. Tough play to the end zone. And just barely for Sluka. Touchdown, Brockport. It's 13-0. So Johnson in the punt. Booten set to return. He's at his he's at the enemy 41. So Johnson again has to punt in the end zone. Punt is up. It's nearly blocked, and it's a horrible punt. That popped up in the air. It's da it's down at the 22. or return to the 22. Blockers come in. Boone has a touchdown. It's his second punt return touchdown of the year. And Brockport takes the lead. Four receivers set from the gun. Up the gut. Tipped it. Oh, what a pick. Mamma mia, that's Andrea Constanzi. First pick is a Golden Eagle with one second left on the clock. Gosella looks, eight seconds though on the play clock. Fontana Rosa switches sides. There it is to Gino. Can he get the blocker? You bet. Make it a 34-3 game, and Gino has a hat trick. So it is a first and ten play. McGuire to Jolly Code, wants the end zone. The Chico does it again. 13-3, Golden Eagles, 5.05 to go in the second. For Cameron Mesh. Also played lacrosse at Spencerport High School. Here's Mesh once again. Man, look at the blockers. He's got two to beat. Nice blocker. And that is six. Have a moment, Cameron Mesh. The kicking off for Brockport, Zach McGowan. And yes, it is a three-man special teams when it comes to kickoffs, kicks, and field goals. McGowan, 15 kickoffs for 847 yards, averaging 56 and a half yards a kick and one touchback. Returning for Lycoming, Spencer Ferguson and Tyler Marshall, 29 and 28 respectively. Marshall lined up near and Ferguson is far. As we are set to go, week number four of the 2023 season. A wild weekend last week in Division Three football all around. But how will it be here today between Brockport and Lycoming? We will know in just about three hours from now. McGowan's ready to kick this thing off. Let's fly here at Bob Boozer Field. So glad you could join us for this matchup. And it drops. Marshall lets that go into the end zone for a touchback. So the Warriors start first and 10 at the 25-yard line, and we talked about Will Fish pregame, 34 for 92 for 517 yards, four touchdowns, and three interceptions on the year. But let's keep in mind this Brockport defense, they've allowed 6.3 points a game, 10th in Division Three this season. And a lot of plays to watch closely. Terrence Oliver is going to be key. Watch out for the pass game, especially if they go deep with the four verticals play. And it is a four receiver set with a full back in. From the gun as Oliver switches sides. Handoff to begin the play early. The blitz happens and biffled for a loss. And on there, Ryan Colhane, the defensive end, came in today with five total tackles and a fumble recovery against Wilkes last week. Last year, the senior out of Clarence Center had 21 tackles, including a five and a half TFLs. Call it no gain on the play though, so not a loss. And back on that four receiver set. A man in motion, that is Brandon Timothy, but twinkle toes. And for the first time today, we will hear Lance Steffler, our referee. That's Chris Austin, the right guard out of Philly. These referee calls may be tough today as, again, the wind is blowing to us. So a loss of five, second and 15 for the Lycoming Warriors. Trips near, play action, passes there for Timothy and his double team, booting on the coverage and also stopped by 
Marquise Wright, and it brings up our first National Guard third down of the day. New York Army National Guard third down make a difference as the next jet greatest generation in the guard. This season for Lycoming, like 10 for 42 on third downs, 23.8%. Brockport holds opponents to 24.4%. That's the best in the conference, 28th best in Division Three. It's a four receiver set. Let's see if this four verticals play possibly happens once again. And it's batted down. Great play by Andrea Costanzi, the junior out of Italy. Four tackles coming on in and a three and out early for Lycoming. Fourth same, Ian Plankenhorn to come out and punt. Raylan's boot in, set to return for the Brockport Golden Eagles. Plankenhorn, 22 punts for 721 yards. And of course, you know Raylan's boot in this season has a 42-yard punt return touchdown against Buff State. The punt drops on the enemy territory. And the own 47-yard line, where it's down, that is where Brockport begins. Today's game brought to you by our friends at 58 Main, home of the original smoked fried grilled chicken wing. Check them out at 58 Main Street in Brockport. Definitely recommend uh, going there after the game for lunch or dinner. So here comes Ben Gosella, the main man we're watching closely for Brockport after his debut last week, the freshman out of Orchard Park. Again, 8 for 17 for 98 yards and a touchdown. And, of course, that running game, Always key for the Golden Eagles. It's Fontana Rosa set up in the gun. And a play action to begin the game early. Passes there for Alex Card, the grad student, who makes it across the chains. First down, Brockport. Card, the transfer from Edinburgh. Six games of experience entering the season. Two receptions for 30 yards on the season. His longest is 25. No touches, though, for him in the last two weeks. Spotted at the 39-yard line. Prina in at fullback. High snap for Gosella. However, though, he gets to Fontana Rosa. So a quickie touch. Loss of a half yard on the play. On the stop, Jake Welch, the defensive tackle out of Lockhaven. 19 tackles for him on the season. An eight-tackle week last week against Utica. Again, we talked about that loss to Utica. One of the top 25 teams in the coaches' poll. Trip set up far, another high set for Gosella, who plays play action. O-line help him out, get some runs, but a pickup of two and sets up third down for B-Port. 11 of 41 this year for third down convergence for the Golden Eagles, 26.8%. Lykeman holds opponents to 13 for 37, 35%. So a third and nine situation for Brockport at the 38 yard line. Couple of substitutions here. One of the subs for Brockport, checking on the name there and that is Isaiah Simmons in that running back, fourth string running back for the team. Simmons switches, it's a five deep situation. Gosella takes the risky situation, pocket collapses, could lose it here, but he picks up two, short for the first down. I don't think it's enough distance for Nate Wygen to try a field goal from just about 50 deep. And Gosella and Fontana Rosa either wanna go for it or we'll see a pooch punt from number 14. At the 35, this year for fourth down convergence, four of seven. Four deep from the gun, Gosella, it's a slant play and it's caught. I don't think it crossed the first down plane. But the pass was there for Nolan Sluka, the freshman out of Waterloo. And officials may have to bring out the chain gang here. It's Rota first down just barely. Wondering what Mike Peters has to say. Checking him out on the far side. Doesn't seem too happy, believes it was short of a first down, but the fifth first down, fourth down conversion of the season is there for Beeport. Hand off of Fontana Rosa. A nice blitz play from the Lycoming Warriors. No gain on the play for Gino. And 
I tell you, what a career day that Fontana Rosa had last week. Third play, explodes 70 yards to the house, and then in the second half, a 61-yard pass. That 70-yard run, longest play from scrimmage since 2019. Of course, if you remember one of the plays in 2019, the Buff State game, Freddie June with a pass to Daquan Hubbard that went over 80 yards to the house. Four receivers set, but Gino takes it. He's got a blocker to help him out, but picks up just about four on the play to bring up a third and seven. For Gino, 170 yards this season. That's seventh best in the Empire 8 Conference. The touchdown, the two touchdowns, longest rush he's ever had, and his first receiving touchdown as a Golden Eagle. Again in the gun, a four receiver set. Can he find his man? Looks deep and it's there, diving for the first down. That's Rashad Law inside the five. First and goal B port. The second string wide receiver who played running back last year. Three receptions for 10 yards last year. 14 completions for 48. Red zone for Brockport this season. Seven for seven in the red zone. And will we see the first touchdown at home this year? The answer is yes. Gino Fontana Rosa punches it in. The first touchdown in Brockport since the Morrisville contest. Let the freaks play at 6 nothing. Nate Wygen to come out for the extra point. Fontana Rosa's fourth touchdown on the year. And so Wygen ready for the extra point. Buckets. The Golden Eagles strike first, six, seven, nothing off a Gino Fontana Rosa run. We'll give you a drive recap in just a moment. Stay with us on GoBrockport.com. 